Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Arising for the weeks of April 2nd through the 18th, 2018. Um, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank all of you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you please continue to do so. Um, I want to thank all of you that have hired me to do your readings and overall I appreciate all the love and support that you guys give to me now also uh, oh and happy Easter to the, those of you that celebrate Easter um, now I'm, I'll also be pulling from the uh, holographic tarot deck at the end of the reading for singles and couples and then also from the Romance Angels deck and those of you that are wondering I'm using everyday witch tarot today All right, so the heart of the situation here. We have the ace of Pentacles Ten of cups Six of cups Then we have the page of wands The world Eight of Wands, Queen of Cups, and Knight of Pentacles. So I'm feeling like you guys have been spending time with the person that you deeply love, deeply care about. You guys have been spending a lot of time together. Um, and I feel like they have now offered something stable or they're offering some some sort of stability or you're offering something um, stable here. And um, I, I'm getting like a lot of emotional fulfillment. It's been like a dream. It's been like a vacation. Um, you guys have just been kind of getting back to where you used to be if there were any rough times I'm just feeling like a sense of calmness a sense of peace um, just a lot of giving and sharing um, with this person now also some of you may have recently reconciled or reconnected with someone from your past and things took off really fast um, but for the most part, overall, I'm still feeling like you guys are uh, having abundance, emotional fulfillment and abundance in your lives right now. You may even be uh, welcoming in a new person into your family. Like uh, for some of you, it could be uh, you just had a baby or you just adopted a pet. Um, but I'm feeling like you guys are living like this dream, like this fairy tale, but it's, it's become a reality. And now you're optimistic about the future. You can see where things are going. You guys are planning. Um, so I'm seeing like a lot of uh, positive things happening for you guys. I'm also feeling like some of you could be dealing with an earth sign. Uh, a, so Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, or water signs such as yourselves. It doesn't have to necessarily be the sign of those people, but I'm getting the energies of that. And I feel like you guys are passionate about starting a new life together. Um, you're making like a lot of plans. Now, if you aren't actually with someone, if you're still single, um, then I'm feeling like you've been daydreaming about the type of life that you want and you're going to take that path to find it. You're like, okay, I'm not just going to sit here and think about it and wish for it anymore. I'm tired of daydreaming. I want to make it happen. I want to find that true love. I want to find my other half. I want to, you know, go out and, and be adventurous and take a risk. And I'm feeling like you're going to do that. You're going to, um, possibly just go and, and finally move or relocate um but i feel like yeah for some of you you're starting a new chapter in your lives here um there is uh, a time to some of you i don't know who's watching but yeah some of you could be retiring um like i feel like you're reaching some sort of completion 
in your life or uh, what your personal life or together as a couple, there, there's going to be some sort of completion and some sort of uh, newness starting a new phase or a new journey uh, together here. Um, I'm feeling like, too, you are curious about something. Um, yeah, you're very curious about a person. And for some of you, I'm feeling like you are connecting with someone in a relationship takes off really fast here it almost to the point where it gets out of control like i'm getting a sense of freedom here and just relaxing and then all of a sudden things get out of hand and you feel like you're losing control of yourself or control of the relationship i feel like a lot of things like maybe feeling like whoa you might feel like you bit off more than you can chew but because I see a storm brewing and you getting a little bit afraid of everything that's happening, like saying everything's happening, happening so quickly um, and feeling like maybe you need to slow down. I'm feeling like a lot of things happening here, just a lot of things happening and you just overall needing a sense of control something getting carried away I feel like too there's going there's the possibility of a lot of expressing coming out someone is expressing themselves and how they feel about you You may get involved with someone who is at a distance from you or who comes from a different background or culture here. Or someone's getting ready to take off and go towards a, in another direction here. But I feel like you're being very nurturing to this person and their needs, um, especially if you're in a relationship. I feel like you are there their emotional support. Hmm. And again, I'm just kind of getting that fertility. So either some of you, your lives are getting ready to change quicker than expected. Like maybe you might find out that you're pregnant now and your whole life is changing. And a lot of exciting things are happening, but at the same time, it's very confusing or scary. So those of you, be careful if you're not trying to have a baby. Um, but I am getting a sense of, of fertility here. Hmm. Something else I was going to say here. Yeah, but basically just listen to your intuition about about how to handle a certain matter or a certain situation here. Those of you that are single, um, I'm feeling like if you still, if you don't meet someone, I'm still feeling like you are at peace with yourself. The Nine of Cups is about being in that happy space, that just being centered and getting in touch with yourself, your higher self. Uh, this is, I feel like you could be meditating and uh, even getting out by water, maybe doing something that relaxes your soul. Um, this could be you daydreaming and manifesting the type of person that you want into your life and you're you're channeling that person, but you're not afraid about being a, alone or single. Um, if you are in a relationship, again, to me, this is just about you guys starting some sort of new phase or chapter in your life. Um, starting a new journey together and you're just feeling good about the way things are you're at peace with yourself you're at peace with your partner this isn't something that is codependent i feel like there are expressions of love here 
Um, you guys are opening up to one another. There is an abundance of love. Uh, doing a lot of romantic things. Taking risk, risk together. Uh, I feel like, too, this is optimism, good news, truth coming out. Uh, you might be celebrating. Um, you feel free when you're with this person. Um, if you Again, if you're alone, you're still being, this is you being creative, tapping into uh, source energy, um, being inspired, becoming passionate about life again. So I don't know if you were uninspired at some point, but if, if you were, you're inspired again. Um, things are taking off quickly for those of you that could be uh, starting your own business or entrepreneurs, or if you just started a job, I just feel like, uh, there's a lot of creativity here as well. It, <clears throat> excuse me. You spending a lot of time with the people that you love and care about. Maybe even spending time uh, with your um, people from your past, your childhood friend. It's like you feel like you guys are soulmates and you, you complete each other. I'm seeing uh, a sense of completion here. Um a lot of enjoyment, like op just getting the attention that you wanted, your ego, like you're on a high here. I, I just feel like things are just taking off. You're just, it's just a lot of peaceful energy is just what I'm getting. You know, I've, I, I can tell this reading isn't going to be very long because I, I just overall feel like you guys are just well rested here. The, this is the hermit. Again, if you're single, you you are just getting back to basics. You're meditating. You're being enlightened. The journey that you've been on has enlightened you. You've learned a lot about yourself. You've grown a lot. You've matured. You're ready to move on to the next phase or next level in your life. If you've been single for a long time with the world showing up in the first row, that could be uh, you know, you ending a phase of being single and, and time to connect with someone that is vibrating on the same path as you, on the same level as you. Um, for some of you, you could be getting involved with a Virgo. Uh, also someone who could be very spiritual, someone who's very wise. You could be spending a lot of time outdoors or in nature. Um, and then again, here we have the King of Cups. For some of you, you are being admired from afar or from a distance. There is someone that is that is making offerings out to you. I just don't feel like you guys are going to, those of you that are single, I don't feel like you're going to be single for long. I feel like there is someone that is in your circle or that is in your, your, your path and they're coming to you. They're expressing to you how they feel and I feel like you're going to be happy about this. I feel like this is good news. This is someone who's really sharing themselves. Um, and you're in a state of mind where maybe you're ready to have a relationship now. But I'm definitely also, I don't know, maybe it's the depiction on the cards, but I, I'm feeling like uh, also the possibility of vacation and uh, going to a resort, getting to relax, getting time to spend around the tropics or warm weather. Um For some of you, I'm feeling like your wishes are coming true. Like you, maybe at one point, if you've ever like <laughs> rolled up a letter and put it in a bottle and then sent sent it off, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like that's happening. Like whatever you prayed for, or wish for in regards to love, like you're getting that in abundance. So I, I'm just overall feeling like there's an abundance in regards to happiness and joy and completion with you guys, whether you're in a relationship or whether you're single, um, you know, you're just fine being by yourself. You're learning to enjoy yourself. This is how you express yourself. Maybe you are expressing yourself to other people and with many people. You're just sharing this and making other people around you happy and feel like celebrating. So you might be someone who brings happiness and peace to other people. Yeah, so that's basically what I'm picking up for you guys. So let's see what other uh, messages there are for those of you born Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. What other messages are there for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising? April, 
April 2nd through the 16th, 2018. That's weird. Okay, so I got the Five of Swords here, which is talking about coldness, distance, petty arguments. Um, and then here, like this was an offering or an opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles, and we did, the Ace of Pentacles did come out in, in the reading, the overall reading. So there is some sort of offering on the table, but there is also someone who isn't taking up on the offer or who is uh, maybe playing hard to get. Maybe you're playing hard to get um, because I there I didn't pick up any of this petty energy in, in the reading at all. Um, so maybe this is just for another group of you, or maybe there was some sort of disconnect. Um, and if there was some sort of disconnect between you and your partner or your love interest, maybe there's going to be a reconciliation. Um, I'm feeling like if there is an argument or a disconnection that with the hermit here, you guys are going to have to go within. You're going to have to reevaluate your path, the path that you were on or the action that you have taken or the words that you have spoken. Um, and maybe you're going to have to reevaluate that and, and see um, what can be done to resolve that issue. Maybe this is something that forced you to look within some sort of um, some sort of argument. Or maybe this has to do with a different area of your life and not love. Maybe this is having something to do with co-workers or family members. Because I just was not getting that in the overall reading at all. Um, but I am still getting Virgo energy for some of you. Hmm. Yeah. So for others of you, maybe this is just for a different group of you that are cancers. There's something going on, some sort of immaturity. This is when two people are behaving immaturely with each other. Uh, they could be at odds with one another, but this is the time for you to, to go within. Uh, I'm seeing that someone is being stubborn, that there's stubborn energy, and it, it's going to take time to come out of their shell or take time to get back to where they were. Uh, maybe this is past energy. Maybe you were coming from this place, and maybe there was already a reconciliation. Um, maybe there were power struggles or boundaries needed to be set. Whatever the case, I guess that's for a different group of you because that's quite different from what was coming out in the reading or maybe that was some sort of past energies. All right, so what additional messages are there for cancer couples, those in relationships, sun, moon, or rising? It could, too, be that there's someone on the outside that is jealous of your happiness or you could be jealous of someone's joy and happiness So here we have you and this is again uh, either you expressing your feelings or emotions to someone or someone expressing their thoughts and feelings to you. Uh, could be that when you the things that you've been thinking about or that your partner have been thinking about now they're uh, uh, just expressing how they feel. Um, and again we got the Eight of Pentacles so maybe this was something that had been thought about for a long time. Um, 
have been something have been on your mind for a while and now you're opening up or you're sharing something with your partner here okay we have again now this kind of corresponds to the the main reading but this is uh having that emotional happiness and fulfillment being in a good place um maybe you have to speak your truth maybe you have to confront uh someone about some things or whatever but i feel like eventually this is still having that uh, emotional uh, fulfillment it's like a dream come true here and there's going to be a lot of communication between you and someone from your past or you guys are discussing things about the past all right cancer singles what are the messages for cancer singles Okay, so it's saying let go of control issues. So maybe that ties into that five of swords energy. Maybe one, you're only single because you fell out with your partner and you guys are trying to outdo the other, um, trying to control one another through silence or something. Um, if there is a chance to connect or reconcile, if you feel this person is worth your time, maybe you should just you know let go of those control issues and then we also have free yourself so there could be something you could be holding on to a grudge or something that was said in the past and you could be acting kind of immature about it or maybe they are but it's saying that those to, that you guys need to let go of those uh control issues and don't let that take over the relationship um also for some of you there could be some sort of codependency Again, that is going back to the control issues, though. So I don't know what what you could be um, letting consume you. There's something that could be consuming your thoughts or the relationship, whether it is someone from your past that you can't let go of. You need to break free of something and move forward is basically what I'm feeling, especially if someone is not responding to you, because there is a, a group of you that is experiencing what may feel like unrequited love. Like you are putting yourself out there, but they're not, they don't feel the same and you're not getting the type of responses that you wanted. So you might start acting kind of nasty uh, about that. But I'm feeling like yeah, if that is your behavior that you if you have been jealous of someone or stuck on someone from your past that you're going to get over it because we had too much positive energy coming out in your main reading, uh, especially with the, you know, the nine of uh, cups, um, the, the hermit. This is you maybe having to learn from your mistakes or your past mistakes. So I feel like you either way you are going if there was anything uh, that went down that where you weren't in a good place. I feel like that's that's only temporary. You're going to be back to yourself. Back to your loving and expressive self. All right. Cancer couples. Cancers in relationships. What are the messages for those that are coupled? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth worth exploring. Um, so that could deal with the truth coming out, the sun expressing yourself, 
Uh, we had the cups come out. Again, that is a, a expressing how you feel. We have the eight of wands. So um, you guys might be uh, talking about things that you hadn't explained before. And then I was saying that I felt like for some of you could be taking a trip or a vacation. So for some of you, maybe you are going off on a vacation, uh, isolating yourself from a lot of people. Or if there was any drama in your life, maybe you guys are moving past that and you're spending time alone and you're getting to communicate and uh, spend time with one another and we do have release your ex maybe for some of you that are in relationships there was an ex that was trying to come back or causing some sort of disruption or drama in your current relationship maybe that thing with the singles plays in some type of way I don't know the reading for the singles I'm saying um, maybe they are someone that is stuck on you or maybe you were holding on to something with them but it's saying to release your ex here or maybe you need to tell your uh, partner of something that had to do with your ex. Maybe you have been holding something back that you hadn't really shared with your current partner. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling like you guys need to open up to uh, one another and you're going to be uh, expressing how you feel with uh, each other. No matter what comes out, stay optimistic about your love life um, because positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so whatever happened in the past just let it go just continue to think positive thoughts um so that you can manifest positive things overall um i'm feeling uh in regards to your relationship all right so cancers this has been a general reading if you want a private reading you will have to email the mat 7060 gmail.com that information is in the description box below I ask that you guys uh, please continue to leave your comments, like, share, and subscribe. Um, thank all of you guys for watching and many blessings to you.